The death of notorious Boston crime boss James Whitey Bulger has been ruled a homicide, and now we're learning how the 89-year-old was reportedly killed in prison. Our ABC correspondent Kendis Gibson has the latest. This morning, the FBI is investigating the killing of Boston mob boss Whitey Bulger just hours after he was transferred to this West Virginia prison. You're going to be responding to the maximum security. They have uh, CPR in progress. Bulger found unresponsive in his cell at 8.20 in the morning Tuesday. An anonymous source telling the New York Times Bulger was beaten so badly he was unrecognizable. He's reportedly the third inmate killed at that maximum security Hazleton facility this year. Raising questions about whether the prison is understaffed. It was in South Boston where young James Bulger earned the nickname Whitey because of his light hair. He spent time in Alcatraz returning to Boston where he'd rule the streets, playing a role in at least 11 murders. In 1994, a corrupt FBI agent tipped Bulger off, telling him he was about to be indicted and he disappeared. Authorities searched more than a decade for him, releasing surveillance video, ultimately tracking him down through his girlfriend, Catherine Gregg, to the Santa Monica apartment where police found more than $800,000 in cash stashed inside the walls. And now the families of his victims coming to terms with his sudden death. We want his name to just go away, but now that he's dead, his name goes away and he goes away with it. Couldn't be a better thing. Very actually happy he's dead. I'm very pleased that he's dead. My family, can we can get on with our lives now. Kendis Gibson, ABC News, New York.